So we officially have made it to the sweet land of Hershey Park. And uh, the skyline's pretty cool. You said where? <laughs> you see a lightning racer back there. You see Candamoy and all the new stuff. Uh, but yeah, we're just outside right now. This is your first time being here. It's like all these vlogs. This place is huge. Yeah, it's pretty big. It's an L. Literally. There's not as much of an L anymore after they added Canamonium. Uh, but yeah, we're just out here now, just uh, literally in the parking lot about to walk in. So we're really excited. It's been so long. Uh, we're gonna be here for two days, but it's looking like it might be one day because of the weather. So we're gonna see what we can do done today. Uh, what are you looking forward to? If you're gonna see all these sky, all these rides here. I'm looking forward to Sky Rush. Looking forward to Laugh Track. Laugh Track? Are I'm you looking forward to... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I don't actually know any of the rides. I just know Sky Rush. Uh, you know what? Speaking of that, I've got a message to all you coaster enthusiasts, to all you sociopaths. That's that'll that'll wait. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> That's for another time in the vlog, though. Oh, just okay. let you know yes, I have something. I have to get off my chest later. All right, guys. What are you looking forward to the most? Sky Rush, probably. It's not as bad on the thighs as people say, in my opinion. When I last rode it, but we'll we'll see. Uh, I mean, it's it's very restraint dependent, but like intensity wise, it's definitely up there. Uh, last time I rode it was when I, I was like nearly about to pass out at the park, and I got forced to ride it. So like, uh, we'll see. We shall see. How much you on your So first ride of the day, the tram. And I already heard myself. Yeah, he already heard himself. Yeah. The roughest ride of the day so far. Completely funded by the children. Completely created the kids. Completely funded by the children. Wow. On a private note, I had a brother law graduated in So this new entrance is amazing from Hershey Park right now. I'm really loving it. Candemonium looks fantastic. Uh, this day is going to uh, be looking awesome. What, what a, we've seen some two amazing entrances so far, guys. <laughs> like with Carowinds and now this. Yeah, uh, the entrance here is beautiful once we get it. Yeah. But we're about to have to scan our tickets. So. Bro, we'll actually catch you once we're inside. The Hershey Fountain is right there, the Kisses Fountain. Uh, so let's see.
So, first impressions, y'all. This is an amazing theme park. <laughs> uh, we're not gonna go to um, Candemonium first, even though it is very tempting, because that is exactly what all, everyone in the park is doing. So, we're gonna go elsewhere. Skywards is looking tempting, but I, should I say that for number 100? I didn't, I didn't let everyone know that. That I am getting my number 100 today. Oh yeah, you are. Um, I kind of want to get a fun park map. I'm probably just going to look it up after this, uh, this event, but, uh, where should we head first? There's so many been, pretty much world-class rides here. I haven't been here in a while, so I have no I mean, Probably Skyrush. I mean, I'm, I kind of want to say that from a number 100, but we can also just do Skyrush <laughs> if you guys want. Um, <laughs> I mean, if you have anything else. There's Comet, there's Lightning Racer, there's Fahrenheit, say, there's Storm Runner. There's, if it's anything under the Great hour, Bear, we might as well get on it. Obviously part of the Hershey experience. Get the mascots here. Right now we got the Hershey bar. So what? You want to take a picture with him, Joseph? Yeah. Take a I gotta the, do. Take a picture with the throw up. <laughs> Come on, take a picture. There's no line. Take a picture. Okay. You have to get Are you excited? Are you excited, so excited so Joseph? Oh, 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 you excited oh, oh, to meet oh, oh, the Hershey bar? Oh, 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 oh. Dude, that's my hero, man. That's my hero. Have you guys? <laughs> Have a great day, guys. Thanks so much for coming. Wait, wait, so wait, you went up to him and what did you say? I went up to him and I was like, dude, you're my hero, man. I look up to you, man. Like, this is and awesome. So he and he fist bumped me. That's all. I didn't get anything out of him. You got a fist bump from the Hershey Yeah. Bus. The Hershey and then I was like, thanks, man. That means a lot. You know, you're my hero, man. It's my our hero. hero. Gave me cavities when I was a kid. Oh, and showing me the ways. Oh now I have to buy the pictures if I want to see them. <laughs> no, so I mean, I don't know how they came out. Uh, but I kind of, we kind of have to now. She kept we, on, after the first picture, I was like, okay, I think I'm done now. Like, I think that the, the gag is over. <laughs> and then she like kept turning the camera and taking more pictures. I'm like, uh, like okay. It's a photo shoot. Yeah, it's a photo shoot, <laughs> I'm man, done. man. I'm done pogging. Like, can I so, we're now queued up. It's been about 15, 20 minutes for Lightning Racer. Yep. Uh, they're only one and one train right now, so I don't know if they're gonna open up another one today. Probably not. So uh, we're only gonna be getting one of the credits of the race for today. You can see it passing by. It's not really happy. Um, yeah, so we're about to get on right now. Uh, it's gonna be the first credit of the day. This is gonna be the first Woody that they love, I think. I mean, really I've, enjoy. I've rode this before technically, but. I remember it very faintly. Years ago. So, I even remember. So, yeah, I, I have not been on this, so I don't even know if I'm going to love it. I just know, I'm hoping I'm going to like it more than me. Because I've heard it is better than me. Cheese and crackers! You excited first ride of the day? He's already tired. I need an energy drink. I got literally less to sleep than it's you. It's a wooden coaster. I'm telling you, what bet do I need to make to prove if you hate this? This will be the last wooden coaster I ever ride. If I don't like this, I'm just Okay, if you don't like this, sure. Sure. After what you've said about this wooden coaster, it sounds like this is one of the better wooden wooden coasters because it's it's not old. So if I don't like this, that's it. It's not to release the air again, so. It's not to release the air again, so. Just clocked down number 96 on the Thunder side. And so. It was too smooth. It was too smooth. It was a wooden coaster. <laughs> too smooth. I thought it would be. And I hate wooden coasters. Too smooth. I thought it would be different. It was too smooth. I didn't like it. <laughs> Literally, like, it felt like a lightly more fun and intense version. I wouldn't even say intense, cat like, is the right word, but it's a better version of Invader and longer. 
So, I mean, yeah, it's bigger, longer in the sense of, of Invader. Uh, they don't duel, but uh, Invader is newer, but it's definitely more of the family throw category, where this is just some more sort of throw. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I was expecting a lot more bite in uh, those hills where there were supposed to be positive air time. Uh, I didn't really get much. Maybe in the front, it might be a little the coaster, better. The coaster didn't hurt enough. There wasn't <laughs> a lot of bite to it. It was just a nice, smooth, wild ride. I hated it. All right, that's uh, Joseph's I hate it. official. <laughs> Eight out of 10, hated it. Official cut rider review. So good news. We just saw Fahrenheit go through a cycle there. We would have been the first ride if this uh, boyo didn't get a lukewarm Mountain Dew and try to scan the park. But you know, it's fine. You gotta walk. Yeah. We're getting on Fahrenheit. And yeah, this is a uh, vertical left hill. How is the line that big already? What do you mean? They're probably just not letting people in. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, this is a vertical left hill by Intamin. Uh, one of the only ones that they did. It's almost Eurofighter-ish from what I've heard, from what I've seen. Uh, very unique. Uh, for intimate and stuff. I mean, they always make unique exhilarating rides, but it looks like we're going to be some of the first riders getting in. So we'll catch y'all after number nine to seven. Good thing we got on Fahrenheit when we did, in the line at least. Cause the, just getting to this last quarter of these cattle pins have been rough. So, we made the right call on getting on when we did. It's probably only about 10 more minutes here. When disembarking from your seat, please- Unfortunately, we got middle row. So, we just got off Fahrenheit. It's getting worse. Uh, really good ride. Uh, really really good yeah really really good. <laughs> um i don't think it's better than a few of the multi launches that i have like ranked really high like pantheon or maverick um which is to be expected but i still thought it was great uh this right here storm runner though right here is another intimate in the park except this is a hydraulic one and man I cannot wait to ride this. I, I'm kind of a little more excited to ride this more than Sky Rush, even though I know I am very excited for Sky Rush. You see right here, I wonder what the line's looking like. If it's not bad, I say we do it. Yeah. But uh, I'm almost, I don't think they're doing dual, uh, dual loading here. So I don't see one. What did you two think of Fahrenheit? I wish I could ride it again, again and again and again, and I just have it be the only ride I ride. You know, it was. I'm really glad I rewrote it. I rode it once before, like years ago, back in high school, and like it was more intense than I expected. So like, I kind of like grayed out since I was screaming too much. But like this time, I knew what I was getting into. It was really, really enjoyable. Really intense though, but really cool. Good. No one asked, dude. You know what else we didn't ask for? The lines today. They've been from the entrance all the way to the end of every rabbit we've gone to. So fast keep track might have to be the play. Uh, but Oh, there's technical difficulties, he said. And they're having technical difficulties. So there is a small delay with Storm Runner. 
as they are, I don't know, maybe doing maintenance. That's what they said they were doing, but this it's temporarily down for now. So hopefully we can get on it later. Uh, kind of like a Fahrenheit situation and snag it real quick. Um, because I know just like Fahrenheit, it maybe not be as bad at capacity, but it's definitely bad capacity. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if they're doing dual station either, because the line we saw was had to be at least 45 minutes to an hour minimum uh, for our stone runners. So we're gonna make our way over to Great Bear now, uh, just to see what's happening there. What? It smells like here. Well, no, it's like it's pretty bad. <laughs> it's pretty bad. <laughs> just wanted yeah. to say that. Get that off my chest. <laughs> So, as much as I am not a fan of these rides, uh, it's gonna be cool to see that this is getting a little remix, a little play on a Jolly Ranch remix there. But, um, yeah, they're obviously retheming their boomerang to Jolly Ranchers and having there some Perla flat ride also being themed as well. That tunnel is going to have Jolly Rancher smells in it. Oh, not the smell of like this whole area? You mean mulch, it smells like mulch right now. You guys know the difference between mulch and no. I don't think you guys do. I don't. Mulch is actually, <laughs> you can literally see mulch the new mulch. Is made of yeah, yeah. They don't, this isn't manure. This is mulch. Multure. Mulch. Multure. So we got the Reese's now. But Joseph doesn't want a picture with this one. This guy's not. It's not the same. I didn't grow up looking up to that guy. He's not my hero. <laughs> So we have luckily found ourselves in the queue of Stormrunner. Yeah, it's a hydraulic one. See how that just... I'm just going to hyperdrive right now. <laughs> We just got off of Stormrunner. Phenomenal ride. Yeah. That launch, bro. You know, soldiers syringe from from Risk of Rain too. <laughs> it felt like they injected that into me. And Wes said the same thing. The moment you get launched, it feels like you were uh, injected with adrenaline. I don't know. It, it felt like it was a three-second ride. Nosey? But man, I kind of wish I could ride it that, again. That's one of those few rides fast, where fast. it's like, even though it's short and sweet. I still feel like I got a full run. I do too. <laughs> it's just because it was so fast. <laughs> like, and the element's so unique on it. Like, like you were saying. Yeah, like <laughs> literally, everyone's talking about the launch. I'm more focused on the the inversion at the end that literally spins you and like gains momentum <laughs> towards sending you like down. Yeah, the flying like, snake dive is really sick. That is like one of the best element. Like, you kind of get a taste of that on uh, Twisted Timbers. But like that just knocks that version out of the wall. Like that's the real thing. That's the real deal. Right yeah, it's. There. I don't even know how to describe it. It's almost like a barrel roll, uh, like too quick going up really fast, and yeah. then it's a quick. But, yeah, the dive way right the out. way it gains momentum is what makes that element so good. Yeah. Like that is such a good feel. And the airtime I got on it, like, and that one airtime pop <laughs> yeah. was great. Insane. <laughs> yeah, the drops were great on it. The, uh, yeah, what a awesome. Company. One thing I can say about this park right now is I wish there were more days where I could find out if there are lighter days here because I just want to spend so many days here, man, and ride all these. <laughs> this is some world class coasters that we're riding right now. Yeah. Like, they might not be your top 20, even top 30, but the way that they stand on their own here, I, I, I can't complain. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, first we need to find our way back to the front of the park. So, we'll catch you all back there. 
guys, this is uh, the new, uh, I don't even know exactly what it's called. I, I think it's the sweet, I don't think this is the sweet tree, but it's a mix of a lot of different things. Oh, this place is awesome. Look at the merch here. I kind of want to get some of these. <laughs> so, yeah, there's a lot to choose from and Joseph's face. I got this off. I was like, oh, no. You know, as a kid, I used to love being in the merch stores because they had yes, everything for me that I would force my parents to buy overpriced toys. Now I'm going to force Did myself you... to buy this. For D&D? Yeah. <laughs> So you got the bucket of chicken bites? Is that what you got? Side of chicken bites? Side it's a of side? Of, yeah. a, I'm glad I got a side. I asked her what the proportions were. She showed me. She was Did like, you get a side of fries? Yeah. That's what I got too. Okay. That's a side of fries? Yeah, we have a lot of food actually. Yeah. Well, the yeah, I could like the and fries a little more. In fact, I can tell that these are just unseasoned curly fries. Did, I look at them. I chose... I chose curly fries. I chose curly oh. fries. I'm sorry. Wait, these are curly fries. Yep. Huh. It's between those, waffle, tater tots, or whatever. These are the weird. These are just curly fries. Aren't supposed to literally just be curly fries. They're supposed to be Cajun. No. <laughs> I've never seen regular curly fries. But also, that chicken looks pretty damn good. I'm about, I'm about to take a piece. The chicken is good. We're gonna take a piece. piece. Yeah. I'm not going to because we got our own, but... Um, so, your quick free review. The food? The chicken is really good. The fries are okay. So, we just had some Milton's. Literally right here. We didn't get any ice cream, but we got some food. Uh, the chicken was pretty good. Chicken was pretty the good. The fries were alright. You know, serviceable. Can't, can't go wrong with the chicken though. I'm gonna have a little bit of myself right now. But uh, the burgers, the sliders. You only see there's two bites out of them, and there's a good reason. One bite out of this one on West, one bite out of this one on Gavin. Let's see what all the rage is about, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. It's a very, oh my, whoa. <laughs> yeah, it comes out, it just stays. It comes out. It's like a, almost like garlicky seasoning. The burger, this is a very middle schooly burger. <laughs> See? Like, that's what I'm saying. I, if I were hungry, I'd finish this, but I'm not hungry enough anymore. Yeah. If I were in like, if I were in Sigma mode, I would be going in on it. Sick. Because I gotta get nourishment. Fortunately, but, you know. we're gonna have an actual food review at the real chocolatier restaurant tomorrow. So that's gonna be the real deal. But like, we're eating at underneath the chocolate. You know, like, there's this fancy rooftop restaurant, and underneath is like the fast food snack bar. We're eating there right now, but we're gonna get the real deal tomorrow. <clears throat> yeah, that's a little food review of Milton's here. It wasn't bad. Um, I mean, for an ice cream parlor, pretty good. I'm gonna try the ice cream. But we're just in here in Chocolate Town. We're probably gonna ride Candemonium and then get on over to Sky Rush. So guys, we're walking up the Candemonium uh, b and hyper coaster of the park. And one of the main standouts now is Chocolate Town. Uh, yeah, like I said, Gavin said it perfect, one of the best plazas out there. Right now it's looking like it's a 40 minute wait. So hopefully that's not accurate, not true. Let's go. Oh, we're in the wrong lane. We are? But it's fine. We can probably just go over here. But, pandemonium. <laughs> 40, 30, 40, 30. Number 99. Look at this. You see, people were saying how great the queue is for this ride. It's a cattle pit. Maybe they haven't waited as long as we did. <laughs> Because, like, I'm, I see pictures of this part all the time, and personally, meh. While the ride is approaching, you can be seated, you can be armed, and you can get inside the car. So, they sent in the train out, we're gonna be on the one right after this one. Uh, a little bit of info for this one, Candemonium. Riding a BM Hyper Coaster. 
<laughs> it's 4,600 feet of track. I think it's the longest ride in the park easily. Uh, 210 feet tall. And a uh, speed of 76 miles an hour. I was surprised about that. Uh, so we're gonna definitely gonna be getting good on the speed going here in two parts. Uh, I'm excited to get on this number 99. So Candemonium uh, it's in my top 20. Easily. Did you say it was in your top 20? Yeah, because it beats Apollo's. So it's in my top 20. That's fair. <laughs> I guess, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a damn good ride. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it was. <laughs> that was a foot. That drop was amazing. Yeah. I don't know where she was. Some of the best drops. Yeah. Like, some of the best consistent airtime I've ever been on. Like, you were out of your seat for so long. Like, they really mastered the parabolic hill for sure. Yeah. Uh, so, B&M, we give you crap for making the same models, but, you know, if you're going to make the same ones, well, perfected. yeah, you perfected. I, I get you. I get you. What do you think of that, Joseph? Dude, my ass did not touch the seat <laughs> for the whole ride. <laughs> it was suspended in between reality and fiction. <laughs> Your ass my was ass suspended. Was suspended <laughs> between reality, <laughs> reality and fiction. <laughs> For the entire ride, six out of ten. <laughs> so, so worse than Lightning Racer. Guys, it is happening. I'm about to queue up for my number 100th coaster credits. I know it's a small number for some, but it is the beginning of a journey in traveling that I. Uh, of a hobby I didn't know I would, uh, was gonna delve into so much. So getting to this milestone is pretty freaking awesome. And I cannot wait to experience more. Holy crap, dude. I cannot wait to experience more. You guys ready? You excited for this? We're getting on Sky Rush for the next ride. So we just got off of Sky Rush. That's top five for me. Top three for me. <laughs> Feels like it's a game. <laughs> like, that, I can't get over that. That coaster killed my dad. <laughs> no, like, that is so intense. Like, it's a more intense feeling and loose intense feeling compared to Intimidator, where Intimidator is really intense and controlled. This feels like it's like, nah, go on. Dude, it literally, Kazuya Mishima. Kazuya Mishima me. <laughs> like on the first drop, I literally fucking went <laughs> and it folded me like a clam. And for the rest of the ride, I was trying to like fight for my life as the seat got tighter and tighter with every drop. Oh the entire time I'm like seeing him in my peripheral just screw like <laughs> like stuck in his position. Bro, that coaster beat my ass. But proper. We're gonna talk about it more when we get back to the car. I'm gonna show a few more things. I'm gonna try to get Super Duper Liberty, get one on one real quick. But for number 100, I am happy to call that my 100th ride because that is something that's gonna be staying in my top 10 for years. I can see easily. So yeah, I got one on one on Super Duper Looper. And now 102, we're gonna finalize the night on Great Bear. Uh, I've heard mixed things about this ride, but overall it's good. So I'm very uh, interested to see how I think of it because I'm a pretty big in for a guy myself. Uh, you said you rode this. This was your favorite back in the day, but now yeah. Skyrush is clearly your favorite. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, I'm interested to see. It's funny seeing this line now and how this part did die off because this had one of the longest lines in the park today, and now we're walking on. Granted, one of the last rides of the night, so it's gonna be cool. It's gonna be fun. Rides of the night on Great Bear for our first day. And we are in the car to the day. Uh, awesome end of the day. Um, granted, we got lucky, <coughs> almost unlucky at the end, but we ended up with two rides in Sky Rush. 
Uh, ended up with the last, uh, literally the last ride uh, on Great Bear. Uh, we got all the main rides today. We got, uh, we started off, what do we start? Well, we started with Lightning Race on the other side. We got Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit. After that, we got Storm Runner. Then, what do we do after that? Candemonium. Right. Yeah, we did. Yeah, because we ate. Yeah, we ate, then we went on Candemonium. And then we turned around and we were like, okay, we got two more things to go through. We needed a Sky Rush and what else was it before Sky Rush? Well, it was just Sky Rush, really. That was the main last Well, there thing. was something else we went on before Sky Rush, wasn't it? Uh, we went on the Great Bear. We did that, too. The very end. To wrap up, we went on every, every big, like, everything that mattered. You know, Candemonium, Sky Rush, Fahrenheit, Storm Runner. We are going to see what it's going to be like tomorrow. What was your guys' favorite for the day, though? Because it Rush. might be different. <clears throat> I mean, actually, it might not be different. I think. Poop Coaster. So you prefer Candemonium. Poop <laughs> Coaster. They were both really good, but, like, dude, one of them literally, uh, Sky Rush <laughs> literally killed my dad, so I'm kind of biased <laughs> against it, you know? But so does Intimidator. Okay, but my dad wouldn't get on. The thing is, the Intimidator has shoulder straps. This Sky Rush just, <laughs> like, it's your thighs versus the world, you know? It's your thighs versus the coaster. Dude, and the coaster always wins. Just build up your core, man. Dude, my legs are sore from doing squats like two days ago. Mm. Like, they were literally pounding. They were literally like tenderizing my thighs. Oh, that's true. There's a red robin's really yeah, close I mean, out so here. So I don't know. It's a tie. Intimidator wins. <laughs> but not by much. Intimidator's not here. But if it were. Sky Rush is my favorite of the day. Uh, close second. Surprisingly, I thought it was gonna be Storm Runner. I think it's Candemonium. Oh yeah. Because being yeah. imperfected. Storm, the airtime. Storm was that Storm Runner the last one we got on? It was the red one that launched. Oh yeah, Storm Runner was good, but it was too short for me to say that. It's, it's one of those rides where you know it doesn't matter how good you are. It's too short. It's too short. It, I think it was just the perfect amount for what it was. Uh, I, I think saw that Storm Runner. The hydraulic launch, amazing, like I said, literally a shot of straight adrenaline. And then the most unique layout. Like, the forces are so unique and they all hit in such great ways. <sighs> but yeah, Sky Rush, it's, it's almost so crazy he needs all the shoulder restraints, literally. Uh, so tomorrow, we're probably gonna do a lot more inside stuff. Uh, if, probably because of the weather, it's just gonna be so bad. Uh, but hopefully we can do something. Something. We're gonna have ponchos. Uh, definitely gonna be a shorter day regardless. But we're chilling that we're gonna get food. Oh, I just remembered. Earlier in the, in the day, I said, I have a message to all you coaster enthusiasts. I'd I would now like to deliver on that message. I wanted to ride all the coasters before I said anything, but I've decided I need to speak up. It's enough, all right? You've rode, you've ridden coasters enough. 7,000. 6,000. None, none of the people I mentioned. <laughs> well, you people. <laughs> I rode the Terminator 7,000. Your people. people. You ride coasters in the thousands. Stop. It's too much. Do something else. Don't listen to it this hurts. <laughs> How can you do that? Stop. That's all I have to say. Get help. Get help. Get some help. Uh, a doctor. He's the most out of shape guy out of all of us, so. Yeah, I don't uh, look it, but I'm not in shape. Yeah, great. This one's been fun. This is gonna get cut so much, but uh, yeah. Catch y'all in the next. Catch y'all in part two, where it's uh the rainy day of Saturday, and also Gavin's birthday. So we're gonna be recording that a bit. Thank y'all for watching this one. Catch you on the next one. Peace out.